choose what I support and what I don't. Okay. So, Great. can I can I speak I'm to that then? That. If that's all, I mean, normally you don't hear me speak to these items. As a business administrator, oh Steve, oh girl, as the business administrator, I realize that there are multiple um, expendable trusts that we have here. I'm going to ask that you, as a board, approve this one, recommend this one. I understand the others. This one is just um, our fail safe catch safety net if something does happen. Like, as this board has already taken out about $60,000 in our, our $30,000, excuse me, in our repair for the heating for the boiler. Um, I know a boiler itself costs about $30,000 that we have had to replace. So, this would be. Um, the place to put it. Uh, like I said, I understand the other ones are more specific and um, they address other issues, but if you were to vote for one of these, uh, this is what I would ask that you vote for, is the one that is the more generalized one for the whole building, so that if something were to happen, we would have the money to pull from. Thank you. In 2007, nobody expected almost 300000 to have to come out the next year. And if we don't move forward with renovating it, we don't know what <coughs> might happen. And it does need to start having the money available to do the repairs that are needed otherwise. Yeah, but what, what I'm also looking at, for instance, the money wouldn't be used for bathrooms. It wouldn't be used for um, the roof, it, because you have a roof expendable trust, okay? It wouldn't be used for windows. Right. I mean, I think it, there's a point where, you know, outside of a boiler going, you got one for everything here. What would it be used for? Those are all more planned. They, they seem like specific planned projects, you know, the windows, the bathrooms. This, you know, as you said, this is mm -hmm. more of the, you know, what are we not, I mean, what are we not expecting? Oh, yeah, You're right. asking what are we not expecting? That's Worst like, case scenario. You know, you, anyone not yeah. here, please stand up and identify themselves. No, no, so no. We don't know. There'll be 700,000 in there if it's passed. What is the worst case scenario that you need seven hundred thousand? Another septic. roof. Not another roof or a septic. But well, you have a roof. Have First of all, how much is in the roof? One. The roof. I'm just. That's why I'm saying, if yeah. you were to vote for one, this sure. is the one that I really I would because it, it it covers them all. But how much is the in roof, the roof? Oh, my eyes are getting worse. Gosh. Roof is the bottom line. One hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars, which was approved. So, so if the year. roof went, you'd have close to a million dollars in there. No. No, 135,000. Oh, so 835,000. You'd have 835,000. You know, it takes a rocket science. So you got 135,000 in the roof. See what you mean? Okay. This is 700,000. That's 835,000. Yep. Yep. Right? That's enough to cover a roof. A port, yeah. That's Not the that's whole plenty, and of course it is. Well, the less, you know. And and if the roof is the worst case scenario, all I'm saying is, you have the money. That's all. For a roof, that's that's what I'm saying. If you vote for the roof and not for the general maintenance right. one, and something else goes, that's that's why I, was, I think most of you are understanding that. Am I am I not being clear? Oh, you're clear. Oh, okay, all right. We ready to take the vote? Well, we still got the issue about the word building in there, and we know that that can pay for an architect and plans ahead of time. Ah, you're right. And that's been a problem. It's been five years I've been addressing that, and I think yep. Kathy's right. You ought to have the flexibility, but. It still is that building thing, and we had the, the attorney, Barbara Lowman, said, yeah, they could use it for an architect and build and draw our plans. Use Barbara Lowen also said that the $30,000 was paid in last year's budget, and it was not. So How they could have they 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 taken it right out of here. How can they use that if it says repair or maintaining? Building, comma, repairing, comma, maintaining school facilities. I, I asked this question when this was first. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. I know. I remember. And, and because because Gilmanton did that, they took money, drew up the plans, had the architect, and the voters voted it down. And as far as I know, they're still sitting over there because the voters never approved them. You ready to take the vote? <laughs> ready? I guess I'm going to vote. I guess I'm going to vote no and try right. to amend it to the floor again. You ready? Mark Dekoff, no. Steve Miller, no. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Georgia McDonald, no. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Sorry. Existing what? Building well, the school board's in session right now. Yes, we can vote it. They can vote on it. They can vote on it right now. Change that. <laughs> That's so right. We can re bring it back up to improve well, it. How about you people voting? How about you considering voting taking out building out of that Warren article? I changed my vote. I would. Yeah. That's the word that's stopping me. Yeah. You want to put it to a vote, Kristen? So you want just the purpose of building? Perhaps. Or the no, purpose repairing of repairing and maintaining? And maintaining. Yeah. Repairing and maintaining. Because that's what you said it's for. Everything was repairing and maintaining. Not once was a build it was building mentioned. So yeah, if, that's, it, if but, that's the case. Right. But Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I don't know if building would have some other connotation. But, yeah, if, if you take that out in that Warren article passes, you couldn't use that money to put towards it, right? Correct. Well, the, uh, because it says this, this hundred and fifty thousand if it passes and then next year you go and this you would say next year you couldn't use it for building. It could only be used for repair you can, and maintenance. You can change oh, it at the uh, However you can however sixty percent of its renovation though that that should fall under re repair. I mean, sixty percent of that eighteen million is renovation costs really well, I don't I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I don't believe because paying the architect over and over and over. What about changing building to renovating? Renovating, repairing, I, or maintaining. I'm going to have to stop you there. I really do believe that changing the wording in this Warren article right. would create a brand new Warren article and it would mm. be a brand new trust, expendable trust fund because right. the monies previously have been stated and slated yes. for building. You're 100% so, right. Okay, thank and you. I, I get your so, point with right. it, so and I don't, I don't have a problem with what it is you're doing. You know, I'm just wondering on legal grounds if I would be making the right decision to ask the board to act on this tonight. Do you follow what I'm saying? I wouldn't ask you. So we're starting a new one. She's it's not as right. simple as we That's, maybe all thought. Because all the money in the past has have had the word building, building. and the yes. voters have made a Changes decision the intent. Yep. You know, to use it for building if that's what they want, yep. that's what yep. they wanted to. Yep. Hey, so Thank you. we'll continue with the vote. Yeah. So Barbara, we were so at I you. So I said no. Okay. Me too, no. Yes. So, so two yeses, five no's. Yep. <sighs> Keep the motion and the second on that, please. Steve. I'm and Steve. <clears throat> Uh, article 11. A motion we accept Article 11 is presented. Mark Dekoff. Second for discussion. Seconded by Steve Miller. Mm -hmm. Well, I forgot we're on tape. Yeah. I'd vote in favor of it because who knows, you know, 135,000 you need for the roof. I mean, I know you can still take it out of the bill, out of the 440,000 if you needed it, but, um, you know, the roof is still a problem. So I'd have to vote absolutely yes for it. Right, I'll call the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Roger McDonald, no. Is this enough money to, to do what needs to be done to the roof? No, just me. Well, we already have 135000 in there, so Who knows? adding more. Who knows? the crystal ball. It'll, it'll be 270. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kay, yes. Mr. Adropolis, yes. Six yeses, one no. Article 12, my motion we accept is uh, presented. Uh, second. Seconded by Steve Miller. How much is in there now? I knew you could have. Just go to the back, sh right here. No, he wants me to look. What? It's, it's, it's a lot easier just to ask. $1,839. Okay, there's got to be more. We've got to put more money in there. This is one that when we discussed it previously, they said that even if the renovation doesn't go yeah. forward, there's still some windows they there's can't. There's got to be more. we got to put more money so. in there. That is correct. So is it the plan to use the architect every time you want to replace windows? Because I remember when you did the, the last window replacement, there was quite a bit of money spent on the architect. It was a larger project though it wasn't it wasn't just the windows it was um the bathroom and the lighting and the gym roof and then the lighting in the um art room and he does get a percentage of, i'll be right up front he gets a percentage of the total cost of the um bid it's based on the bid what the bid is accepted at and it is lower his rate happens to be lower than most it's about five percent where I know Steve Miller had suggested, stated that the going rate is about eight. He's lower than that. He's about five. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's good. Okay. We ready to take the vote? Mm -hmm. Mark D. Koff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. President McDonald, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Okay, yes. Mr. Arkadopoulos, yes. Seven yeses. A motion, Mark Dekoff motions to accept Article 13 as presented. I, uh, I'll say I'll second. Steve Miller seconds. You got to fix those bathrooms no matter what. <laughs> I don't care if they're just in there for two more years yeah. or one more year. They got to be fixed now. The, la the, the time we did spend the money on those bathrooms in the middle school wing, it was $69,000 that we spent on them. So right now we have $31,103 in that account. There's not enough in there. They also, Steve, mm -hmm. Article 10 is for repairing and repairing and maintaining school facilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, and the, my guess is you, you can put easily fifty thousand dollars into those bathrooms. They've got four hundred forty in there. Yes. My true. question is: Is yes. that this money um, will that take care of the problem that you're having with the um, the backing up? That is actually being looked at right now, um, and it, it's it's going to. I do believe, and don't quote me, but I do believe it's going to be expended to fix the backing up of the sinks in the ERC. Right now, that's what we're looking specifically at because it's a a situation right now. It, even though the bathrooms down in the ERC, you're absolutely right, need to be taken care of. But the, so is the it sinks. just water that's coming up the sink? It's not. It's not. I don't know the specific details of it. Because Somebody I know it's a smell. Gas it's it down the if, it, it's, if it's anything other than Very water nice. that's backing up. I mean, but that's, that's no, highly did. toxic. And they sewer did. gas is lethal, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. FYI. On, uh, yep. on steel yep. pipes. Yep. They threw some furic acid down there. Oh, well. Rip them out. Over. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the answer was is that you're looking at how much it's going to cost to repair the plumbing. The, the plumbing, plumbing for is those not necessarily sinks. in here. This is just to make it look pretty so the, the bathrooms. girls want to go to school and not stay home because the this bathrooms just don't look another, good. This mm -hmm. is just another fund. We have a repair okay. fund. Repair and maintain it's fund up here on 10. Hey, I'll call the vote. Mark D. Koff, yes. Is the money going to be spent in the bathrooms in my lifetime? If, what? If, I don't know. You got anything you need to tell us? They have $440,000 they can put in. <laughs> okay. Steve Miller, yes. They have $440,000 <laughs> I'm doing this if they spend Lawrence the money. Lawrence yes. <laughs> I think we liked, <laughs> we liked the bathrooms in the middle school wing. They turned out very well. Okay, so, yeah. great. I just want you to do it. Yeah. Thank you. Barbara Howard. <laughs> what was Virgil's vote? No. Oh, okay. I tend to agree with we Virgil. Got too many funds. No. I don't know why you aren't taking out of the 400000 I say it, hey, Plus, they got 30000 in here and 440 up there for repairing them. Yeah. It'll be a pretty nice bathroom. I didn't hear all the... Yes. Yeah, and if you took yes. out the 440, you actually could do it. No. Mr. Adropolis, yes. Four yeses, three noes. Uh... Cough motions, Article 14 as presented. Second. Steve Miller seconds. Call the vote. Mark Tikoff, yes. Are we going to install a, a fire system in this school? Yeah. If, it, if it, no, no, if, if the project doesn't pass. The, fi the fire suppression system is something um, I don't believe we would because unless we have another roof issue where we have to take everything yep. out and expose it, then um, it's a lot more work. Yeah, it's, it's blown. 239,000 there. I vote no. Plus, it all comes under the repair and maintenance yeah. of that building. No. Fine. It's not going to be spent. They're not going to spend the funds. Right. They're not spending the money. Yeah. Uh, for a dis uh, discussion, you know, saying yeah. that as a... Uh, you know, Steve said, gets back to like with the geothermal, you know, as part of the project, I definitely agree with, but as a holding place, you know, for funds, I'd say no as well. President McDonald, no. Robert Howard, no. Lord Guy, no. Mr. Adropolis, yes. Two, two yeses, five noes. Uh, Mark Dekoff, I motion Article 15 as presented. Second. Steve Miller seconds. 
Okay, um, because we lowered the electricity funding and some fuel funding in the operational budget, my, reason, my reasoning was is that the contingency fund made more sense because what was not expended here has to go back to the taxpayers. The operational budget does not next, that back. money, that surplus funds can be used for other purposes, theoretically and actually. So that's why I would recommend the contingency fund. Any other? Call the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Roger McDonald, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kyle, yes. Chris Rodropoulos, yes. Seven yeses. Mark Decoff, motion special warrant article 16 as read, or presented, sorry. Second. second. I'm sorry, Virgil. Virgil McDonald seconds. Discussion? I, um, how much is in there now? This is a brand new. Brand new one? Brand new. And it's going to use specifically for what? Uh, parking lot. For the parking lot? There are different parking lots. Okay, if the, if the project goes through, they're going to rip up the parking lot anyway. So this says it would, if it were defeated, it wouldn't be, it would be right. null. Okay, is, does, I'm asking the school board, is there any intention of spending this money uh, during the next year? We, we don't have plans right now. We have done some improvements to the parking lot last year um, based on monies left in our buildings and grounds funds. Um, a hard pack was put around for a parking area because we're starting to get big divots in the parking as you, I don't know if you've seen, but I think I've seen you at ball games there. If you park there where the dirt was and all that, that's now a hard pack surface. Um, that's been taken partially around. I think we'd like to take that a little bit further around. It's not terribly costly to do that but you know something like this would allow us to do that not to mention um you know fixing up the parking lot and there's more than one parking area actually there's that parking area there's also the one down by the by the gym and the music room entrance there's parking over by the um, principal's office area where the yellow you know those yellow poles are used to be the handicap parking and then there's parking across the street as well the town maintains that basically but i believe we're it's up to us to uh, to paint the you know to do the painting and all that kind of stuff and I, sign it i would only vote in favor of it if you are going to do something in, in the coming fiscal year. If not, I would prefer to see 20000 or 30000 two years from now when you're ready to do it as opposed to just putting into a fund, you know, as a petty cash fund in case we need it. So 10000 is easy, comes out of building and grounds maintenance, grounds being the operative word, maintenance being the operative word. So I would, I'm going to vote no. And some, Article something 10 would cover that something I'm just going to throw out there you know mm -hmm. we've got several other articles through here like this you know as you know you know our focus right now is the renovation you know that's what that's what we've got our sights on that's what we want in all honesty that's what we want there's things that I would like to see done if that doesn't happen mm -hmm. you know at buildings and grounds meetings I've, I've talked about you know we need to have a plan B just to be safe because you don't know you can't predict what's going to happen mm -hmm. yet you can recommend things we could you know you could have something recommended by the board and the budget committee and still see it fail when it goes when it goes to the vote so, you know, just being realistic. Sure. You know? At Lake with the windows, there was specific plans that even if the renovation doesn't go through, there are window plans. You know, if you had parking areas that needed to be resurfaced or needed to be addressed, regardless of the renovation or not, uh, you know, then it's appropriate to, you know, set the money aside for that for this year. Right. And personally speaking, I'd rather not spend a whole lot of money right now on parking lot or whatever, considering we would be having construction going on, that kind of thing. It wouldn't be worth it. If it makes it so that we're not getting people stuck in mud holes come spring, then I'm, you know, we need to definitely do the maintenance and, and take care of that because, you know, that can't have that happening. Yeah, I've helped push cars out of that uh, little area before you pay. Yeah. Pat, it was that important. It should have come out of the other fund and do it all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll call the vote. Mark, uh, Mark Decoff, no. Steve Miller, no. Lawrence Tilly, no. Roger McDonald, no. Barbara Howard, no. Lauren Kerr, no. Chris Rodriguez, yes. One yes, six no's. Mark Decoff motions Article 17 as presented. Second. Virgil McDonald seconds. I think they need it. Yep. I'll call the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Virgil McDonald, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kay, yes. 
Mr. Adrathlis, yes. Seven yeses. Uh, Mark Decoff, motions Article 18 is presented. Seconded. Virgil McDonald seconds. Any discussion? Yeah, I like the idea that if this is built up, that's all the money that could be used for. Let's say there's 60,000 in there, 100,000, 90,000, what it should be. Pick a number. It, if, it, if, it, if it isn't used for that, it can't be used for anything else. If it's in the operating budget, and there's money left over, and there's always money left over for improvement of instruction, that can be used for anything they well, want. That's what we got to watch, just to make sure that we don't give out an extra 1500 exactly. or anything else with it. It's exactly. 2000 2000 only. We know that all you have to do is figure out $2,000, you know, times the amount of teachers, you know, are, that are plus whoever's contracted for it, and that's essentially... You get paperwork, and then how you, much you, is... Yeah, then you know exactly how much should be in there, not a dime more in any given year. Okay, so that this way the taxpayers have control. Call the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Roger McDowell, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. George Rappos, yes. Seven yeses. Mark Decoff, motions. Article 19 is presented. Second. Steve Miller seconds. Discussion? Same reason. Call the vote. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Roger McDonald, yes. Barbara Howard, yes. Lauren Kai, yes. Chris Dardropoulos, yes. Seven yeses. Mark Decoff motions Article 20 is presented. <coughs> Seconded. Steve Miller seconds. It still makes sense. A contingency fund, you know, is can only be used for utilities. But I caution you that. Um, there were not significant cuts made, um, you know, in the operational budget, and it may have been a function that they we were. Did, we cut the electrical in the. Yeah. In this the, is for the high school. For the, the high, high school. school. Yeah, school. we did cut the high school. Fifteen electrical. grand. I've got the information. Uh, I can't. Yeah. You've got it. How much we cut in the high school? Thank you. The Warren article, it comes back, the contingency fund comes, literally comes back. So it's good if we, if we made significant cuts in the high school, then this makes sense. But they didn't take all our advice on all the cuts, though, yeah. did they? And, but they can't go into this unless it's for utilities, and if they do, then they absolutely need it. I don't these know. are the cuts that JMA made, or? Yeah. This is, oh, is this, this what the is school it, board uh, went with? Fifteen grand was the cut for electricity. Yep. But is that what yeah. the school board went with? Can I show you, if I can show you what's on here? Oh. Um, the Joint Budget Committee proposed cuts is the first column that you see on here. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's no grid on here, and I'm sorry for that. That's the way it was given to me tonight. Um, the um, Joint uh, Budget Committee's final cuts are, is the middle column here. Um, yeah, the Joint Budget Committee. And then the, um, the JMA board's cuts are, is this last column that you see over here, and then the notes on what it was. This, this far column over here, the far left, is your uh, department numbers. So like out of 1,100, um, the Joint Budget Committee proposed, and it starts with $13,000 and then 1365 so But you didn't cut electricity. Well, they didn't know if this article would pass. One other thing is put it on the bottom line. So we're going to go back and do this. This is from Chuck today. Well, once we say, prove say it, that again, Linda. It. Cut the dues and fees either for the profession, you know, professionals. Hey, call the vote. Mm -hmm. Mark Decoff, yes. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Oh, wait a minute. You can't revisit this and add money. We just voted. No, we can't add money. They can change the distribution. They can move it around. Virgil McDonald, no. Barbara Howard, no. They're going to do what they would have done it already. Lauren Cow, yes. <laughs> Chris Rogeropoulos, yes. If 
Five yeses, two noes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> article 21, Mark, Mark D. Koff, motions Article 21 is presented. Second. Any discussion? Call the vote. Mark Dekoff, yes. I think there's only $70,555 in that fund, and they said they just spent 32000 Yeah, I just had a request okay. from a CFR. What's the request for? For 32000 no, for, for what, though? For what, do you know? I haven't looked through the, all of the paperwork. Fire suppression system. Well, it's, you mean it's broken? No, they had the... There's been a... system. Yep. Okay. Okay, so there's only 38,000 in there now. Okay. Steve Miller, yes. Lawrence Tilly, yes. Hmm. I got a question. Is this money, any of this money spent for doing the wells and the irrigation stuff? What, recently? Has any of it been spent oh, for Oh, last that? year. Have I? The truck that was out there all the, the whole year, uh, drilling water wells. I don't think it came out of that, but I would have to check with Chuck. If, if you don't mind recessing for a minute, I can get you an answer on that. Do you want an answer? Oh, I, I feel that maintenance is not putting in a new sprinkler system. Oh, is that right? Oh, do you? Do you think that's maintenance? I don't. They have almost a million dollar line well, item for Linda says they're putting in a maintenance system. I've got to believe it. No, no, it's, it's they're clean, flushing the right? system. That's a maintenance to flush it. But they also tried to but put in. They use money out they also tried to do an right. irrigation system, put in a new irrigation system. They use money. Oh, that, out of that sounds like a capital improvement thing, yeah. not a maintenance. Are you talking about for the baseball field? Yeah. Any, any oh. of the fields or any of that? How is it set up? What I don't know. Is this used by the? Track so you want to recess? Fine. Yeah. We can recess for just like five minutes, Linda's. Hey, we'll recess for five minutes. Are we ready? Yep. You ready? Yep. All right. Call the Alton Budget Committee session back in order. <coughs> so you. Oh, no. It did come from the general maintenance fund, which was um, split 50 50 between Alton and Brunswick. The irrigation? Huh? What, the wells? The wells. And what was the total spent on that? Jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh. <laughs> Came out of the general maintenance fund, not the reserve. Mm -hmm. Is that the fields? Yeah, yeah. Right uh, that, that was right to find the well for irrigation, correct? Remember this yes. One? And it was never found, correct? Correct. And we spent a lot of money, right? Yeah, I know. That's when you drill a well, I guess. Did it come out of this? No. You need one of those sticks general, with a fork. General maintenance fund. <laughs> That's Bring up thing. a diviner. <laughs> you know what? I said they that with Kathy Preston. Kathy Preston and I were going to go out and do that. I know they do. That's why I left them. It would have had the same result. Right. So how, how is the new well general maintenance? Yeah. That's my question. It's not general maintenance. So how could it come out of this fund? It was for the irrigation. So it was for... But it's a new, new well. It's not maintenance. Improvement. <clears throat> maintaining the fields. You can, yeah. you can make a case that it's maintaining the field so the field don't die. Would this be maintaining the fields that flood? I don't know. I'm just saying that you can make a, a, a case that it is a go. fields. It's not their little kitty. I think it should go. That would be like buying a track, a brand new track, and saying it's for maintaining the fields. Right. Right? That's capital improvements. Then we voted against that. Yeah, we did. We, we voted well, against we that $13,000, did we not? Yeah. For the baseball field? Okay. Oh, what change my vote? <sighs> Hi. It's the right thing, but it's the risk of the wrong. Yeah. You know, where's not, the ownership? Uh, that's right. Come in on it. It's like either way, if you don't get it in the operating budget, you take it out of the Warren article. Well, here's here's the thing too. I mean, you guys can vote it down tonight. I don't have the information on me to address your concerns on this, quite frankly. It's stuff I can get from the business office. You know, stuff is brought to us as a board. It's gone over by a finance committee. It's gone over by a buildings and grounds committee. And those are both subcommittees within, you know, it's Prospect Mountain but board members. 
but they, they bring that forward to us with their recommendations. It's a recommendation from administration. They have their justification behind it. Did I like it that money was used for, to find wells that didn't exist or whatever, you know, th that that was, nothing was found at all, you know, there was drilling done and, and nothing came of it? No, I, I, I hated that, quite frankly. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, if you vote this down tonight, it could be something that at the deliberative session we have, an, you know, we have a better case for this or whatever, we can get you more information. We can go forward with it. If you guys decide to change your vote, you know, that's fine. Either way, yeah. Like I said, it is what it is. It, there's not a lot of money. Either way, let's say they did it 100% wrong in our estimation, hypothetically. They still only have $38,000 in there, you know, and, you know, any, you, know they, you need more than $38,000 in a general maintenance fund for a building that size. You just need that, you know, because because you can't take a time out to fix things you know if something significant happens it's got to be done if it's not managed properly you know that's a whole <laughs> other issue but they have a special boiler fund don't they they started saving already for when the boiler goes no right. as an example let's say water comes out of the sprinkler system and ruins a floor insurance covers that yeah so, something I want to add to this is non-lapsing you know, this is something that's going to be, you know, if we expend monies out of this as a hearing about that, you know, when money was expended out of it for the drilling of the wells and everything, there was a public hearing, okay. you know. It, it's, there's transparency with this. <coughs> We go through, you know, we, we go through a process for this. These subcommittees, they keep meeting minutes. They, they come to us with their recommendations. Like I said, we trust that they've gone it through it with administration. They've asked the questions, you know. It's, it's most of those subcommittees yeah. are two members of each, each board. Um, I got trepidations, but I voted for it. I'm going to keep my vote. Lawrence Tilley, yes. Sergeant McDonald, no. I voted for it before, but I'm going to say no. Lauren, can I know? I'm raising Mr. Arthur yes. Okay. Four yeses, three noes. Do we have any uh, public input over what we just did with the school? before we go into the town business. Yep. Come on up and announce. Hi, uh, my name's Andy McCoy. The last couple of nights, I was at the school board meeting Monday. Monday? Mm -hmm. Yes. Monday. Um, I, uh, I, I just, I wanna, if my wife and I went to buy a house, Look at our money that we had and the money we're willing to spend in the future. Come up with a budget. Andy, pull my mic over. Oh, you know this? Is that better? Yeah, yeah. just hey, so they hey. can pick it up. All right, I got it. I see myself too. <laughs> that would bother you before. That was <laughs> that would bother me too. Um, if if I'll start again. If I, my wife and I were going to go buy a house, we go and look at it and get a budget together. We all done that. We've all bought houses. Um, it. it it occurs to me that the budget committee and the school board would have gotten together a long time ago and said, we, we can come up with 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 million dollars in, in a 10 year bond. So that's how much money we have to spend. Let's figure out how to do it best. Has that ever happened? I don't hear of that ever happened. Nope. Nope. Warren, you've been here the longest, as far as I know. By RSA, there's supposed to be a school board rep. On this committee, it's not a school board so rep. That's a, not what I'm asking. You asked me the question. I'm going to answer it. Well, you're going to you're going to slant it. No, no, no. I'm not yeah. going to slant. That's what I'm hearing. So why don't you oh, tell well, us what you want to hear? Why don't you let me finish the answer? All right, answer well, the okay. question. Right, that could happen if we did have a school board rep to show up. That's why I'm so upset about this. Mm -hmm. That they're not fulfilling. This duty, I don't think they fulfilled the duty to you people when I heard that they weren't showing up to your meetings. I agree with you. We should work on something. That could, I busted my butt on this issue years and years. It upsets me terribly, and I agree with Steve 100%. There's got to be something done over there. But to have a group that doesn't even show up, that doesn't have any thing about it, it's not going to happen what you're saying. There's got to be a commitment from the other side. There's like, there been a commitment here. These people showed up. And I think you people did too. I'd like to see the entire board of both sides, the board and the, and the budget committee, all you get. Was that going to be 10 people? No, this is 
Uh, you had six, you got six here, and, and how many school board? Five. Five, okay, so it'll be 11 people. Get all 11 people together. Talk out the whole scope of what you think should be done and where you think you should go, and then come up with a budget. You're the budget committee. I don't, I don't know if that's within your realm. I haven't read the whole RSA, and I don't understand it completely. I don't know if it's your responsibility to come up with a, a budget. Look ahead in the next 10 years. What do you think is going to happen in town? What your well, income is going to look like? Well, okay. But somebody's got to come up with a number They're somewhere. 100% right. Mm -hmm. that, absolutely. Can, we, can he finish? But, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it hasn't happened to date. Yep. Or has it? Has it happened by somebody else? Can, can we understand why that hasn't happened? Sure. Two, there's two reasons why it hasn't happened. At a school board meeting, I asked, the, I asked the school board when they were looking to build a school, I said, what is the budget that you gave your architect for the renovations or to build a new school? The answer is, you can check the minutes. We don't do that. We just tell the architect what he needs and he comes back with a number. Now listen, what you and I do when we buy a house, and if you and I were CEOs of General Motors before we buy, before we build a plant, what we do is we decide how much is a reasonable amount of money to spend and tell the architect, you have $15 million, this is what our needs are, these are what our constraints are, can you do it? And he goes yay or nay, and does it. But that's not how it was done. Because I, I, it, it didn't make sense in my head that you wouldn't go to a, an architect, and you can ask the architect, they didn't give him a number. Okay? And, and their, um, the, the, budget, the budget committee, right, I'm, not the budget committee, the school board just presents to the budget committee, we find out with the public about an $18 million project. We don't have any advance notice. You, if you went to a building grounds meeting, you found out ahead of us. Well, over the history of this, I've been, I've been in the town for ten and a half years now, mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of, I, you know, the whole build up to the Twombly property bit and that collapsed and whatnot. But I can't believe there hasn't been a large group of people gotten together and sat down and worked these numbers out. Mm -hmm. You're right. And it's not, I'm not going to blame just the school board. I'm going to blame every voting adult in this town. So I think it's time to, if, if this doesn't go through, if the, if the people of the town don't vote for this $18 million, it's time to decide, geez, how much will we vote for? Because that's really what it comes down to. People are looking at a number. They want, they want the school. I think everybody in this town wants that school to be a heck of a lot better. Uh, I, I'm concerned about, you know, it's winter, it's raining and snowing, and last time when the roof slowly started coming down, it was over my wife's office. I've been very upset if I'd lost my wife. There's another sore subject. Up until that point, they always shoveled the roof. I'm, I'm not going to go into On a heavy game. snowfall, they decided not to shovel thing. the roof. It's in the past. It's a blame game. It's in the past. I'm not going to waste our time. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's time to jump, step forward, and see what we can yes, do. Yes, you know what? Sometimes in the history can dictates finish, the Barbara? future too. Barbara, he needs to yes, finish. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I think I think uh, there's a number of people in this room, and, and and the school board people also. It and capital improvements. Who's this? Is that a or committee? CIP. I think nobody. Sh no more CIP anymore. Yeah. Nobody sure. Okay, so it doesn't exist. So th these, these are the responsible adults that have been voted in. I think it's time to get together without throwing knives at each other. Yep. Yeah. And say, let's come up with a number. See what we can do. Why wouldn't okay. the school board do that? Because we, we don't know what they want, that they're coming with an $18 million product. The, the, but we also somebody has said, to come to us. You've got we work wants with you. and you've you got halves. Yep. Okay, we got the wants here and we got, you know, we got... Let's say we got $18 million here, and we got all these wants over here, mm -hmm. and we got to try and fit the wants in there. Yep. And some will fall out, and some will get reconstruction, reconfigured and dropped in. In fairness, I did attend um, a few of the Building and Ground Committee meetings, and during public input, I expressed. However, I was a very unpopular um, voice to be heard because I'm not in favor of spending $100,000 to raise the roof of the library to have a natural light, because to me, that's a heat loss, because heat rises. So what, what natural light you're going to harvest is, uh, is 
depleted by the cost of of heating. You, so have you know, to do the but numbers I, on that. I don't know. I don't know. Technically, I don't know how that works. However, I'm saying to you is that you know you go there and you just you if you have a difference of opinion, it's not well received. Mm -hmm. So where is the encouragement to keep going back? I stopped going. Well, you, got, you had a valid question. You don't know the technical. You don't know the technical results of it. To you, but if you raise I'm it and get a bigger volume, I'm telling you that even as a budget committee member, I have attended school board meetings and I have attended some buildings around, not that many. But because I try to get you know facts from other sources and not just one place, so a lot of times when that happens, it's like you're the sole member of the budget committee at the school board meeting. Mm-hmm. Or there's a single school board member at the budget committee meeting. Correct, and I don't represent the budget committee Things, when I'm there. Well, I'm, I'm a taxpayer way, when I go either individually. Way. But you're a one-person voice, and you tend to get drowned out. That's why I suggest get the big, bigger group together with a ref. You're 100 percent right. But you need a balance group. You need you need, you need a ref of some kind. Right. <coughs> oh, well. And if, if I can just, you know, ping off what Barbara said, Barbara, I felt the same way you have sitting here too. And I don't say that in an adversarial voice. I say that in I'm here as a representative. This cuts you guys make, this points you guys make, you guys have taught me a lot. In the, the, I worked with you guys last year. I was your rep last year. Some of them were really tough lessons. <laughs> Some of them were, wow, I wish I'd thought of that. Why didn't I see that? Golly gee, you know, face palm, you know. Well, we learned too. That kind of thing. Oh, yeah. And I feel like, you know, I, I feel that way too. You know, it's tough working with a situation where you feel like you're, I know. you're, you're an outsider, you know, and it's tough to be, it's tough to come in here as a representative to do that. That's one of the hardest years I've had. I didn't think my first year as a board member would be the mm -hmm. hardest year, but it was, you know, this year has been tough doing negotiations, but likewise, I, I am not opposed to what Andy is, pro is proposing. I would be, I would gladly sit down with you guys if you guys have the time and you guys are willing to do it. You know, I, it's likely I'm going to be chairing the Alton board next year. I would be happy to do that. You know, I, I would be happy to make that a priority. I don't know what your feelings are. I know some of you are up for re-election. I know some of you might not be running. I don't know. But for whatever it's worth, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm going to throw that out That'd there. Be fun. I think it's I think time. It's a great idea. I, I think I think it's a great idea too, and I haven't seen it happen. You know, there's this, you know, I've I've watched on the sideline for years before I ran. You know, and I, I would have thought that this would have happened a while back. You know, I look to Loring sometimes in these situations because he's kind of a bridge. You know, I look at him as a former school board member that I respect, and I look at him as a budget committee rep to the, you know, to this, and so you know I, I throw this out there because I think it's time we get past some of this stuff. We're gonna disagree. You know, um, I know how hard I work. I know what I attend for meetings. I know what I can't make because I have other obligations in my life. You know, I have to prioritize. I've got young children. I do the best I can. Is it always on the mark? No, I wish I was perfect. I'm not. But going forward, if we can put these things aside and work together, I'll be your budget committee rep next year. I'll do this, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, if this is what you guys want, but on the same token, I, I you know, Sometimes we get passionate about things and we kind of lose it. You know, we, we're all, we've all done it, you know. And I think going forward, we need to mend those fences. I think we can work together. I want to do it. If you guys want to do it, if we can go forward and be respectful of each other, I, I'm willing to do that. And if you've got a problem, if you've got a question, you know, when I ran, I wanted to be your liaison. I wanted to be the bridge between the issues, the past issues with the school board and this budget committee because I felt like if anybody could probably mend those fences, it might be me. You know, I've got a rep I had a reputation with you guys of having integrity, having been your secretary, passing in minutes. You know, I did the best I could. And I, I worked hard for you. You'd offered me raises, Steve, and I'd turn them down because I felt like I, I was paid enough. I think you respected that, you know. Um, I think quite frankly, personally <coughs> speaking, you know, if we can put our differences and our past aside, I would be willing to work with you guys and do this thing. If you guys have an issue or a question, I would invite you to come to me and ask me about it. You know, if you, if you hear a rumor about something, let's put the rumors aside in the, the school too, things that are, are going on. Is every decision the best decision we could make in the school or whatever, or administration could make? No, but let me investigate it and get back to you on it. 
Rather than having a misperception that things are, are, are poorly managed out there, I'd like to put that stuff aside too and stop doing that. You know, I know you've got concerns. Your concerns sometimes are things that it's my first hearing of them. What's going on? Let me find out. Let me get to the bottom of it. Well, use me for that. You know, I, I'm willing to do that. But, you know, if I don't have an answer for that's you. That's if we get a rep to our meetings. Well, but that's the thing, though. If I don't have an answer for you, though, don't get upset with me. I do the best I can. It might be a couple of days, and Steve will tell you, I've worked with him when he's been told no by administration. I've worked with him to get him information before. You know, I've, I've done those kinds of things. So, you know, rather than... 50% than is just showing up. 50% of it's showing up, but, you know, I, I did it last year. Part of it, I knew that there was going to be some medical things with my family this year that I needed to put my attention I have, to. I, I don't have any, and that's yeah, why I don't have any I, issues with you personally. No, and that's part of why I wanted, I, I'm not your rep this year. Right. And I wanted Who the... Who was? We didn't have one. We had a rotating, we had a rotating membership. And sometimes, you know, you can have stuff like that and everybody will assume that everybody's where they're supposed to be or doing what they're supposed to be doing. Or things will come up. You know, people will have emergencies, whatever, illnesses, what have you, you know. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Like I said to you the other night at the board, at Monday's board meeting, um, I, I'm willing to, you know, I, I, I'm not going to tell you or make excuses or anything like that. I'll say it's unfortunate nobody was there. I wish there was. In hindsight, you know, I would have been coming in late from an appointment. It would have been very late, minutes before Linda probably. But that would have been the best I could have done that night, in all honesty. That's where that's at. And that time of year and with some of the things I've got going on personally, that would have been the best I could do. And I, I'm sorry for that, but I can't change that now. That's water under the bridge. Okay. I'm sorry for your frustration. I will, I will offer that to you. Being the uh, newest person sort of inheriting, you know, up here, a uh, very short time period, I could say that, you know, one thing I... I feel is at least a perception issue, if not a reality issue, is that without the rep here consistently through the police budget, the town budget, cemetery budget, everything, it's hard to know that, you know, the school board has a full understanding of everything that we're doing with all the other departments, the back and forth. Um, I assure you, I've seen cut discussions, you know, that, you know, for some of the teams that are at least as equal as you know some of the discussions we've had with the school board but those other departments don't have a seat permanently you know set aside i think the big reason on the school board is because the school is such a huge financial part of the town it's important that they're there not just to speak but to hear and to be able to have that opportunity to step in and you know speak to it as well and then take that information back to the school board so that you know when you're coming in for the school board items it's not it, it's a lot more symmetry with the whole project or you know the whole process yeah, yeah that that's yeah. just my and impression the selectman's here yeah the, isn't a selectman here through every school all the time huh he, he doesn't miss any meetings and <laughs> and again you know i can't speak for what the other i'm i'm one of five mm -hmm. in the alton board i'm one of ten on the jma board um i can't fix what's been done. I can't change the past. I'm not going to offer excuses. What's done is done. Going forward, if you guys want a good working relationship, or if we want to work together and establish a good working relationship together, <coughs> then let's put the past aside tonight, you know, and let's go forward. If you want, I will finish out the year with you, you know, and going forward, we can continue on. You know, I will do the best I can. If I can't be here, I will do my best to get a representative in my place. If we have no representation at all, I will work with whoever is chair to alert them and let them know. Okay. This year, just FYI for full transparency, you guys had several meetings on Tuesday nights. We have JMA meetings that night. And we actually had to cancel a JMA meeting this year because there was a conflict. I was willing to be at both. I was at your meeting that night when the when it, th that JMA meeting was going on. I was going to excuse myself from that meeting, fly over to Prospect, vote on whatever needed to vote so that they could convene and then come back. The chair wasn't comfortable with that, Eunice Landry, and Eunice decided to just, you know, let's cancel this meeting, but she kind of did a, you're a board member first, you know, and it's like, I get it. So we had to make those choices this year. I was on the zone, I'm on the zoning board. And I, I had to be at two meetings. places at the same time. And I managed. Yep. Okay, and I was on the JMA 
but I know you've yep. missed meetings too for zoning as well, you know, and mm -hmm. that's just the reality of it. You know, that's that's where you're at sometimes. And, and you know, God, I, I'm never going to, and I know sometimes people ha actually forget, you know, that happens sometimes. You know, I remember one time mm -hmm. you were playing Candyland with one of your grandkids or whatever, and somebody <laughs> called you and you're like, I was getting my butt kicked, but here I am. <laughs> Good excuse. You know? mm -hmm. but, that's, but that's, you know, that's the reality of it. I mean, we're all human, but, you know, let's, let's get past okay. the, you know, then tonight when I said, you know, I'm tired of you beating up on the school board, I feel like I work, I know how many hours I work on this stuff and the behind the scenes stuff, the phone calls, the researching things, the reading articles, the, the looking at other contracts, whatever you're doing to be the best you can for your job. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent, you know, I don't make the best decisions or I, I don't always make the, the right decisions all the time, but wouldn't it be a boring world if we all did? You know, I mean, that's just the reality of it. You know, can we do better? You know, absolutely. I'm the first to admit it, you know. Right or wrong, but never in doubt. Huh. <laughs> so, the, uh... so after the deliberative session, what I would like to do, Maureen, and I'm sorry for interrupting you, after the deliberative session, um, Mr. Chairman, I would like to have an opportunity to invite the, schedule a time when the board and the budget committee can sit down together, mm -hmm. um, and if we can preferably do it school or some easier access location so that all of our members can attend, sure. that, would be, that would be preferable. Um, uh, we wait to see if it I think we're going to have a meeting on Gen January 24th, if it's all right with everybody, if you want to, if we want to bring that up. <clears throat> That's a Tuesday night. What do you have, January 24th? That's what I just looked at. The, would I that, think. Is that a Tuesday? It's a Tuesday, or would a Thursday be better? If you do a Thursday, I can maybe make the ZBA meeting if it's that Tuesday. I just don't have the schedule here. I have a hard time. Thursdays, Thursdays I can make it, but I might be a little late. If we were to do a 6.30, I could do it. 6 o'clock, I can. I've got an appointment in Concord. So 24th doesn't work for anybody? What? 24th? Or would, would, Mon would that Monday work? And is 23rd? that for budget? Uh, I think I could start the meeting on Monday. Yeah, it's just to go over stuff before the delivery session. Select the meeting. So I'll go. I'll make it. Some, I'll make whatever you got. So would January twenty fourth work? No, he says he's got a selectman's meeting. No, that's twenty third. Oh, twenty fourth is Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there. Twenty fourth. Okay with you guys? Yeah. I don't have my calendar with me, but yeah. Tuesday. All right. We'll All right. Six o'clock. So right. the well, policy the oh, school board six, has Megan about. Six. Uh, if there isn't a majority. It, well, wait a minute. Uh, we don't with public oh, I'm sorry. input. <laughs> <laughs> seven o'clock meeting. Mac. Come on, that's really Okay, you Mac, finish with your stat at seven o'clock meeting. Thanks for coming at seven or six. She can't make it at six. Okay, you want to do it at seven? We'll do it at seven. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. You need to send out emails or call us. I'll bake cookies. Huh? Or call Virgil two hours ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seven o'clock. Okay, now, Laura. So the policy, the school board, that they won't attend, or they're going to leave if there's not a majority on the board, that's going to disappear? I can bring that forward. Thank you. All right, any other public input? Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Your basic agenda for the 24th is, is that going to be, like, do I need to have Kathy here? Do I need oh, to no. Have we, just, <laughs> we already went through all your budget and everything, okay. so no, I just, it's just, just a... Just you could sit in the audience. <laughs> Just school board. Just it's just uh, get ready for here. school board buys us a steak dinner and stuff. while we introduce and stuff? You know, milk and cookies. That's not the twenty-fourth. <laughs> it's just to get ready for the delivery session. Might be mac and cheese, Virgil, on my budget, but I can. Yeah, like <laughs> right now, Lorraine wanted to bring something up, right? Yeah. Um, you asked about the articles on the <coughs> the sale of those properties. Yeah. yeah. That was I thought I thought Virgil asked if that property was near the dump, and evidently, after I heard what you said, you thought I it was the dump. If it was the dump, that's what I heard. It is not the dump. Oh, okay, it is this piece of property in yellow. This is all swamp. Dudley Road. Piece right there. The dump is over here. Right. Pass that down. This is up across from uh, Louis Proctor's so. old. It's not going to drive the ram. It's just before the buttons, huh? right? Is this Clapham Brook? Is no, that's no. the road. 
This is the road. That's the hook road. Yeah. And where's the bridge? The bridge would be um, right here. Because this is all swamp, right? The bridge okay, is yep. right around this here. Is, oh, this, this is the dump bridge right here. The little one. Okay. Then there's this one. And then the big one would be. Is this the piece the guy bought and turned into a field? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just asked about that. You want to pass it down as to the rest of the information? This one you asked about the uh, Echo Point property? Yeah. Okay, this is the three pieces right here. Pardon? Is that shoreline? This is a three pieces. This is Coffin Brook, yeah. Okay. I'll give you the pass that yeah. down. That's my piece right There's the three pieces. It has to Sorry fill that. in for a drive, a parking lot, etc. You have to meet these wetlands. Setbacks. Setbacks. At least 50 of it you can't even touch. This part you'd have to uh, probably go to a the state or to somebody. That's 150 feet. The one that's the big piece in the in the back corner is just super wet. Okay. The ones in the front are a little drier, so you have to subtract that off of that, and so that would give you about a 15 foot wide by about 50 foot in that. Okay, corner. and that middle that middle that, on the lake? that middle piece. That's what it looks like on the. That middle piece that's privately owned. Is there a house on there? Yes. Roads, private There's a house on there? Yeah. So that person is probably interested on both sides of that. Okay. That's the deal. Is that the deal? Guess what? I would think he would be. I would. Uh, we can also that's a swim there. The townspeople. I know it. I, I, I agree. 100%. Huh. That, that's that's what's front. driving this thing. I'm glad to find yeah, out it's they not keep the dump. Selling that guy <laughs> wants <laughs> these two. And the, they don't want us to use this road. They want to say it's private. Can and I keep not this? Not if we're paying tax. Can I make a copy? Or can I keep yeah. it? Can I get it back to you? Yeah. Cannot no, refuse you can them. Just, All right. That's why I said. So there's, there's a clarification. Cat park in there. Thank you. you. What? There's your clarification. Thank you. So we don't owe anything to the town. We're done with the town. I just wanted to clarify that because. Um, Do you need a motion to adjourn? Hey, Steve. <laughs> um, the, um, so, the next meeting is going to be January 24th at 7 o'clock. In this location. In this location. Do you want me to post it for you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Do you I want to post it? Yeah, you can. Borrow mm -hmm. my pen, write it in on the way out. Okay. I'll let him ask him for it. All right. Hey. So, we're done? Motion to adjourn? I believe. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Right. This is about thirty. Yeah. This is a private. It's been a learning experience since then. <laughs> this is a this, private. That's